hacking is playing with science. So we're familiar with hacking. We usually think of computers. We think about open source. In science, you can do the same sort of thing. You can do it with scientific instrumentation. There's a new, a new but old culture that's forming around biohacking, where we not only want to do science, we want to play with it. We want to make it more fun. We want to make it faster, cheaper, and more available to the public. This whole movement, DIY Bio, came out, and it's basically about playing with bio, like finding ways to do science without having to be at school. What I realized was missing was a space for people to come together and just be hackers. Um, unfortunately, science is a little more expensive than a regular hacker space. We were able to start BioCurious, the Bay Area hacker space for biotech. So we have a lab, but we also have a cool hangout space where you can come and meet cool people. There's the same sort of enthusiasm that you see in makers and hackers that we see in biohackers. It's the same sort of people, and when you put them in the same room and you give them a common language of awesomeness, they talk just fine to each other. Like you see the brainstorming actually turn into something when you put the lab next to it. Innovation and novelty, fun and passion is nothing new to this crowd. They're doing something not because it's required of them, because they have a passion for it, because it's fun, because they want to save the world or they want to make it more fun.